Then tell me now, what could have really cost this? Tell me what could have cost this bike, man. Why you choose to park up in a this long traffic? You don't have no way to go. No, this is a man is serious. You must not have no way to go. Then you want to tell me, say, I didn't look a new law where pass make this a bike man stuck in a traffic. Yeah, so I'm afraid to go on where I go. No, man, come on, bike man. Do better than that, man. Go around the car. So. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me well, go on, my people, hope everybody you know okay, hope everybody you know right. You have done your work to become a better version of yourself. Set boundaries and define how others relate to you. Don't get distracted by things that have nothing to do with your goal. Self first is not selfish. Always remember that. Anyway, now people, one only part thing still I got in the news. Keep back and relax and let me just start it again. A mechanic has been charged with murder, robbery, aggravation, and illegal pushing of firearm following an incident at his business establishment in Poros, Manchester on December 9, 2022. Charge is 22-year-old Ajay Fraser of Denby Crescent Clarendon. Fraser was charged with the murder of 39-year-old Jing Yi, otherwise called Leo, a businessman of Porus in the parish. Report reaching our news team from the Manchester police that at about 7.30 p.m., Fraser was with a group of men who robbed Leo, yeah, people, them robbed Leo, then opened gunfire, killing him. And guess what, people? Leo died on the spot. Anyway, make I move on. So from a gunman mechanic to a gunman electrician. Anyway, an electrician has been charged with assault common law, assault occasional bodily harm, and using a firearm to commit offense following an incident in Old Arbor St. Catherine on February 1st. Charge is 27-year-old Travis Perry, otherwise called Gang. Minister Junior Gang people, so make sure now this is good. This a boy does call himself Gang, an electrician from Old Harbor in the parish. Report reached on news from Old Harbor Police that about 8 p.m., Perry had an altercation with a man during which he pointed an handgun at the man and threatened him. Yeah, man, I'm going to kill this man. Wait, wait, wait. One only for bad one, I'm two steps on the platform. It's alleged that Perry also used a weapon to hit the man before fleeing the scene on Saturday, February 11. Guess what, people? Perry was pointed out to the police. He was subsequently arrested and charged after a coincidence and suspicion. And guess what? They never have him gone flick the police this time. Ah, oh, slap the police. Them should have slap him, boy. So what I said, and I mean what I said. And you know me already. I'll now take him back. Delmar Hines. Yes, people, I'm going to tell about him now. The St. Mary man who pled guilty to chopping a 17-year-old boy in his head in 2021 has been sentenced to nine years and five months in prison. Part and now, people. The 36-year-old father of eight was sentenced on Friday in the Home Circuit Court. Presiding Judge Justice Simone Reese, while outlining the mitigating and aggravating factors, noted that Hines pursued the complainant and chopped him several times on his head. Justice Reese ascertained that such behavior is not acceptable. The police had reported that on November 4th at about 12.05 a.m., Hines confronted the teen who he had accused of committing a crime. Ah oh boy, oh boy. And then used a machete to chop the teen, inflicting several wounds, including severe his right ears. Yes, people, he man chop off the boy ears. The police were summoned and eyes was arrested and charged. Then we'll land there. The boy now and the father could have fixed this boy your business. Him business should have get fixed. So what I said, I mean what I said. You know me already. I'm not taking you back. Let me tell you about some gun and some gun man now. Two 28-year-old man has been charged with possession of prohibited weapon and other charges following incident which occur in St. Andrew and Portland respectively. Music selector, me all just tell you mix badness and music together, it don't work. Music selector Kieran Watkins of Tavern Drive, Kingston 8 has been charged with possession of a prohibited firearm and unlawful possession of ammo following an incident in his community on Sunday, January 22nd. The St. Andrew Central Police Division report at about 6.30 p.m. a targeted raid was conducted in the community. A group of men was seen along the roadway which arose the suspicion of the police. The men were accosted and searched and guess what people? One PA-15 rifle with a magazine containing four five 
5.56 rounds of ammo was found inside a bag belonging to Watkins. Watkins was arrested and subsequently charged following an interview in the presence of his lawyer. His court date is being finalized. Radadadam! Old 15 years and near nasty rotted when that come. Anyway, I can continue. A construction worker and an eagle of Canewood District in Portland, Oshane Gordon, otherwise called Blacks, was charged with possession of prohibited weapon, assaulted common law, and common assault in relation to an incident which occurred on Wednesday, February 8th. Report from the police that Gordon accused a man of a bad driving him whilst traveling on Oak Bay Main Road in Portland. He followed the man to a nearby restaurant where he pointed a gun at him, then slapped him. Yes, people. I'm a big man, I love slap people, man. A report was made to the police and investigation launch, which led to Gordon being arrested and charged on Thursday, February 9th for the offense. His court date is being finalized. I'm going to tell you something about Portland people. You understand? You see, like I'm going to jail now. Me, I tell you this. I'm best friend, I'm going to start riding him, girl. Yeah, man. I saw them beat up Portland, you know. Some man just pray for your girl, jail, so they can't get your woman. Remember, remember, good. I don't really tell lies. If you ask the Portland people, them, them can confirm it too. No. Anyway, now people, I turn on my TV and I see this boy. Yeah. I can tell you something. Stop classifying them as Jamaican. They are not Jamaican no more. We don't need them. You see, anybody. Left them go up on the plane and throw a big stone behind them. They are not Jamaican. So I can tell you this. An ex Jamaican citizen, that is what I'm going to call him. 54 year old Linsom Boyd last Friday confessed to brutally killing his ex partner and wounding her son with the intention to killing him in a courtroom in Antigua, Barbuda. Boyd was previously charged in June 2021 with the murder of passport division worker 47 year old Altia Henry and several injuries to her son. Yes, people remember me telling the bodies them time there. How them time that we don't read the news, we people them. Henry's body was discovered at Cash Hill Home on the afternoon of 20th of January 2021 with what appears to be multiple wounds. Her son was rushed to the hospital with injuries to his upper body and left eye, allegedly received during an altercation with the accused. The prosecution had mounted several pieces of evidence and had a list of more than 10 witnesses it could call, but the accused pled guilty thereby saving the crown sometime. But I can tell you this, nobody gave him this call. I'm not a fuck, do whatever you want to do. Only thing I tell you, no, no make him come back to Jamaica. We don't want him here. Anyway, and I want somebody to tap the judge on his shoulder just like this. And tell him, say, I'm an idiot. Here why. A man who is facing charges relating to a US $2 million drug bust last December has been released on bail. Why? Why? People who sell drugs and them things there, you know, they don't get the chance to live, you know. Here we are going, people. Dwight Duar, age 33, was off a bail last week on humanitarian grounds because of severe medical complication, according to his attorney, Odean Marston. Well, and the people, I can tell you something. The big idiot judge should make him stay around there and kick him bucket. You understand? Kick him, should I kick him bucket around like that? What kind of bail you give him? He was ordered to report to the police three times per week. Duane is facing charges of possession of, dealing in, taking step to export, and conspiracy to export ganja. He was arrested on December 17, 2022 during a police military operation along the Bull Bay Main Road in St. Andrew. The police report that about 10.45 p.m. an Isuzu motor truck was stopped. It is alleged that during the search of the vehicle, compressed ganja with an estimated street value of approximately US $2 million was found in the back. He has denied the allegation, his attorney said. Anyway, I can move on from that. The news I have people because the government plan for make a whole heap of money off of people. One whole heap of money. If you do not believe me, you are going to go on, go on. The police has issued over 7,000 traffic tickets in the first seven days in which the new road traffic act and regulation came into force. Yes, people. At this rate, a thousand tickets a day. Yes, people. A thousand tickets a day. I'm a Bridget Geary. Come, come tell the people that we are going to go on there, man. After seven days, it was 7,217 that we collated. Um, at issuing traffic tickets at 450,000 on average per year, mm-hmm. that um, averages about 1,300 and odd per day. We continue to, to um, enforce and regulate. Things won't happen overnight. We don't expect that. But mm. what we expect is that people will become more aware and they will make the changes as we go along. I think that the level of awareness that we are seeing is very positive. It's 
to go there are a lot of discussions about the different aspects of the law. I would say anecdotally that in some areas we are seeing glimpses of changes. But what I've observed is that the rate of prosecutions by my officers have not significantly reduced. And what that tells us is that, you know, it's a working progress. It is still early days, but what I would hope is that all the, the sentiments that have been expressed and the resolutions that people have made from February the 1 will hold true in terms of conforming with the law, you know, being more courteous and ensuring that they protect themselves much more as we use the public sphere on the road in particular. Then tell me now, what could I really cost this? Tell me what could have cost this bike man? Why you choose to park up in a this long traffic? You don't have no way to go? No, this is a man is serious. You must not have no way to go. Then you want to tell me say I didn't look a new law we pass make this a bike man stuck in a traffic or so. I'm afraid to go on where I go. No man, come on bike man, do better than that man. Go round the car. That so, is that where that is concerned. What should I go on for what go on now, people? Things that really trouble me, you know. But I'm tell you something. I'm very upset. When people sit down and say people are go down the hill and them not come and say nothing about it. But they wait until the person take them life or take somebody else's life and carry somebody with them. You see them come and them start say, yo, you know said that person you yeah, got through this, that person you yeah, got through that. Why would you never just take the time out to try and talk to them? Hmm? That's the question I keep on asking. So people, me keep back on my go, so boom, I miss Shelly Ann Hamilton, 26 year old, take her life, not only fear her life, she take her daughter life too, 7 year old, Gabriella Lambert, and then the people, them in the community, are come, come say, yo, she did not go through depression, she always look this way, she always look that way, but yet still, no, 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 never give her a helping hand, why, why, ask yourself, why, I soon come back.